What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. This is a highly requested video and honestly a first for me considering that I've never uploaded a video on my channel of a location I couldn't get into. But I came across this abandoned video store. I have not really seen any documentation of this place online. Took a few clips of video, uploaded to TikTok. Needless to say, it blew up. People wanted to see more. People wanted me to film a video and showcase what is left inside this very preserved location. It's an amazing location. Um, I'm kind of thankful that I cannot get inside and that this location is actually protected by the community and it's watched pretty um, well and there's it's just a perfect time capsule of a location that you could just look inside and immediately look into the past. Uh, the history here, I know the building was constructed in 1960, but it started its video rentals in 1978, and that was a business that ran for about 20 years until it was abandoned in the early 2000s, as to which everything was left on the shelf. Everything is left inside, and I'm going to give you guys the best view I can from the street, but I know you guys will enjoy. Hopefully you do. If you do, leave a thumbs up. Now let's go check it out. So here is the store as it remains, as if you're just walking down the street and you see all this. You can see all the sun damage on the front of these movies left here in the front of the store. A lot of familiar ones. See Dumb and Dumber, Bad Boys. A lot of classics from this era, all being wasted away in here. You can see that Lilo and Stitch cut out on the right there. Such an insane time capsule of a location. Telling by the movies we see inside that it closed in about 2004 or 2005. So as you could see inside the window here, we actually still have even some candy left behind in those 25 cent machines. And so much left behind. I mean, we could just look at the ads here in the front. We have The Haunted Mansion with uh, Eddie Murphy. That's a good movie. I think I saw that in theaters. Pirates of the Caribbean. So we have a lot of movies here from the early 2000s. Um, the only thing that this place isn't, it isn't a blockbuster, but it is, it is a mom and pop store with a lot left behind and it's just absolutely preserved to the, its greatest ability. Not even any decay in there or anything. Love that Donnie Darko poster hanging up also. Part of me wishes that they would open this place up and let people tour it and look at the location and admire it. But another part of me doesn't want that to happen. It want, it, I want it to sit the way it is and just remind, remain itself as a time capsule. So people could just look out and it'll really be truly sucking time. Right here in the front, probably one of some of the last ads that they put on these windows here. We have Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets, and The Incredibles on DVD March 15th. Mary Jo Young. So have all those old computers too. Even on the left side of the uh, the desk, we have all the the rentals they never sorted out that they probably got last minute from people. Outside the story of this partial Harry Potter DVD. Oh, look. Weird this, weird this is just outside. So this is a lot for the building. I'm gonna go around the back and try to stick my camera into a window we have. It looks like it maybe was the back office here. 
but just to see what we can of the inside, perhaps, a different perspective. Look at all the memorabilia on the wall here. So much left behind. I really wish, really, really wish that if the property owner ever sees this video, whoever owns this property, please contact me with my email. It'll be in the description of the video. I want to, I want to get inside this location. I want to document it. I want to talk to you about the history. It's such an amazing location, and it needs. Just so much love and attention. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's exploration, if you wanna call it that. We didn't get inside anything, but it's an amazing location, an absolute time capsule, and I'm just happy to have seen this place in my own eyes. I'm kinda glad I wasn't able to get in, like I said before, so this place can actually be a time capsule, just something you could see from the street, but no one could actually go inside, a place where time is untouched and everything inside the walls of this location is from almost 20 years ago it's the ultimate early 2000 nostalgia time capsule it's just an amazing location i'm glad uh, i'm able to share this i'm glad people were able and they wanted to see more so anybody that enjoyed this little through the glass exploration leave a thumbs up let me let me know leave a comment you guys know what to do and uh, we're gonna head out of here on to the next actual abandoned place for you to explore. Have a good day. Stay curious.